Hi, I'm the Naked Fairy, and today is the perfect day to talk about the difference between solemn and serious. Now, technically, those two are the same, but I think about them differently. Serious. Well, for me, serious is about intent. It's about what's inside and what's motivating you, while solemn is about your outward expression. It's about your appearance. It's about the demeanor. Now, today is Valentine's Day. And it's one of those things that, well, a lot of people either passionately love it or passionately hate it. I am blandly indifferent to it, mainly because it's a sentimental holiday and I am not a sentimental person. But, my husband is, and I love him very much. Now, add to that, my husband has an injured shoulder, and having gone through a similar injury several years ago, I know how incredibly painful it is, and how difficult it is to go through your whole day with one shoulder immobilized, and having to do things with one arm and one hand, and having to make up for that missing uh, use of a limb. And he gets home every day, and he's tired, and he's hurting, and he is not a happy camper. So, since I am an equal opportunity mocker, and I embrace the silly and the whimsical, I thought today was the perfect day to express my love for him by amusing him. We started with the bow, because there's almost nothing that a pretty bow doesn't make better. And then we went full on with the makeup. Now, if you're into makeup trends, you know that right now, smoky eyes are in. So I decided to go with the bloody eyes, complete with lots of red glitter, and the sparkly bronzer, and the red lipstick with the red glitter. And in case you're wondering, I haven't gotten any glitter in my eyes but I definitely have it in my teeth. Oh, and we shouldn't forget the manga mascara. Oh, and extra glitter everywhere. And then, to top it off, is my wedding ring. Now, my husband is of the opinion that any ring I wear on my left ring finger is a wedding ring. And I embrace this sentiment because I like variety. Now, I do have a few rules. I won't wear a piece of jewelry that he hates, and I do have a few pieces that he's not fond of. If he's given it to me, it's definitely wedding ring worthy. I have a classic wedding band and a number of different solitaires, and I have some classic type solitaire wedding rings that I wear. But I have one ring that my husband, well, he kind of hates it. So, whenever I want to make him laugh, I put on that ring and I say, Honey, I wore this just for you. So today, I chose it as my wedding ring. Simply because it will make him laugh today. Now, again, I'm an equal opportunity mocker. And I take love seriously. My husband and I have very different tastes in a lot of ways. For me, the perfect Valentine's movie would be Crimson Peak. Because what's love without mayhem and murder and the super supernatural? And for him, the perfect Valentine's movie would be something like Dr. Zhivago. But because we do love each other and we want to do things together, we found a shared enjoyment of superhero movies. So for Valentine's Day, we're watching Doctor Strange. See, there's a lot of things I take seriously. There's very little that I'm solemn about. In fact, the more solemn the occasion, it's an invitation screaming to me to mock it be silly, in part because that's my coping mechanism, 
and in part because it's just entertaining and I like to be entertained. Now, let me give you an opposite example. My dad was a very solemn man. He had a very calm demeanor. He didn't smile a lot. Very, very solemn. Now, there were some things my dad took very seriously. He was a civil servant, and his job was to go between the government and defense contractors for the nuclear submarines. And his job was to make sure not just that contracts were met and obligations and duties were kept, but his job also meant ensuring that those nuclear submarines were safe for the U.S. Navy. And my father had been a Navy man, and he took that very serious. Another thing that he was serious about was his faith. He was very serious about his faith. And he was pretty serious about cars, but he wasn't serious about much else. Now, my father was so solemn, everybody assumed he was serious, really serious about everything. My father had a wicked sense of humor. It was very dry, very witty, and my father could tell a joke, and better than that, he could actually repeat other people's jokes and get them done well. So whenever I heard a joke, the first person I wanted to tell was my dad. Now, of course, during my teenage years, a lot of those were jokes full of sexual innuendo, or what we would call as teenagers, dirty jokes. And when I would say, I can't wait to tell this to my dad, my friends would all go, you can't tell that to your dad. What will he think? And I'd say he'd laugh. See, my dad, well, aside from the things he was serious about, he wasn't hugely serious about life. He had an enormous sense of humor about it. But he was very solemn. I don't know why, and at the time that my dad was still alive, I didn't ever know to ask him. But he was very much the complete opposite of me in that regard. Now I bring this up today, one, because it was Valentine's Day and it was the perfect opportunity to show my mocking side to you, but also because this video blog does deal with a lot of serious subjects. Child abuse, recovery, healing, living a full and happy life, those are serious things. And we live in a world full of serious things. We live in a world where there are terrorists, there's genuine murder and mayhem, and, well, I think there's too much serious to take everything solemnly. So, I will make jokes, and sometimes they might even seem inappropriate to you, and that's okay. You have your sensibilities and I have mine. We don't have to agree on our humor. But, as always, when you're dealing with the seriousness of life, even if you are a solemn person, remember that there's whimsy and there's humor and there's always a place for some silliness. But whether you're silly or you're solemn, whether the subject matter is serious or not, always remember, clothing is optional. Consent is not.